So here's something we didn't expect. Um, apparently, Paul Valentine is being looked at by a club in your Europa League action, I think, in a Europe action. Hello and welcome to the video. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing, getting in front of people, faith, and subscribing, letting me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video go live. There is a watch along tonight. It'll be around 7.45 when the game starts. I'll try and go live around 7.30, 7.40-ish. Uh, but we are doing a watch along of the Blackpool game, so please come and join me for that. And there will be a review afterwards. So Paul Valentine impressed on his first season at Wednesday. The 27-year-old didn't start well at Wednesday, but he managed to do really well. Now, here's the thing. He has got some suitors now, though. And it looks like you could see that Danny Will has left him out a couple of times, but whenever we need him, he's stepped up. Now, it's been reported that Israel outfit, Makahai, Tel Aviv are looking at defender the potential signing for their transfer window closes this week. Now, Spanish Jonathan Garcia, the European European, uh, the UA for European League outfit, will be willing to pay a transfer fee. Now, here's the thing: the interest is genuine, but it all depends on what kind of offer they would we as a club would want for him. And if you actually let him go, we can't replace him. We cannot replace him at all because there's no way of replacing him. Our window's shut. Now, personally, I generally just think you go, unless it's a stupid amount of money, you turn it down. You say, no, he's part of my team. He's going to be here and do it. And I can't, I generally can't see us letting him go unless it's a stupid amount of money. I generally can't because we can't replace him. We can't get someone else in the squad right now. We're going to have to wait until January. And for me, we're already a team that's already looking light at the back at times. And Valentin is one of the players who can come on and change things. And from what we've heard, he's enjoying life at Wednesday. He enjoy being in and around the Wednesday team and around the camp. So for me, I would turn it down unless the money was stupidly good. But what would be stupidly good money? Are you talking 900 to a 900k to 1.5 million kind of money? That's where I would be. But he's not worth that, and that's where I think it becomes a non-starter in terms of the offer. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what Wendy do here. I personally, if I'm Wendy, I'm turning around and saying no. Generally, if a big comes in for him, I'm turning around and just saying no, nope, thank you. Thanks for the interest, but he's a Sheffield Wednesday player and he's here for the remainder of his contract. And that's the end of it. Uh, but I'd love to know what your guy's thoughts are. I didn't think we'd be talking about transfer stuff, but here we are. You always be, It's that strange thing. You always forget that other transfers windows are still open. It's not like completely as it is in England where it just shuts other windows open. So what would you do? I would keep him and say no to any offers that came in.